nation's most prestigious private schools, a place that has educated the children of presidents and the region's elite. But tonight, Sidwell Friends School in Northwest D.C. is reeling for the third time in months from the prominent display of symbols of hate. Here's Bruce Lachan with the story. Look at these good kids. These are good kids. All kids are good kids. They just need parents helping them and guiding them. Outside the Holocaust Museum, shock and anger over the swastikas at Sidwell. This is upsetting and we need to be more sensitive to everyone's histories. Sidwell is a Quaker school known for progressive values, but now racked again by symbols of hate. On Wednesday, in the midst of an assembly of about 500 9th through 12th graders, at least two students projected swastikas and racist usernames onto a large screen at the front of the room. First, you're going to go to getkahoot.com. A student presenter had invited his fellow students to join a game-based learning platform called Kahoot. Two usernames with swastikas rolled to the top of a trivia game. The room went silent and an administrator signaled to the student to cut off the screen. The head of school sent home a letter. We are deeply disheartened and disturbed by this incident, which is an extremely serious breach of our school's honor code and harassment policy. There is no place for hate in our community. But according to the Huffington Post, this is the third swastika incident at the school in the last few months. Yeah, unfortunately, we've seen dozens of these incidents just this school year in the DMV uh, at private schools, independent schools, public schools. Uh, there is something out in the atmosphere today uh, that seems to be emboldening uh, hate, hate symbols, slurs. It's ridiculous and it's, I think, really just the day and time that we're living in right now. Once people see people openly hating somebody else, they're like, oh, I guess it's okay to just hate. Now the question, how to stop it. In D.C., Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.